blah, 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 blah. Okay. Ow! My nose got stuck in my helmet. That's a first. Ah! That hurt so bad. Whew. All right. What up, Crispy Gang? It's your boys, Mr. 20 West. In the building. Let me do the. Okay. And then that's. That's to align the backwards facing camera. Hopefully it looked decent. I don't know. It's gonna do a lot of bouncing. <laughs> How y'all doing, my beautiful people? It's your boy, it's Mr. 20. I said that. It's your boy, it's Mr. 20 West. Ooh, concrete. Sheesh. Man, in Vegas, they doing a lot of construction work, man. All right, so, definitely gonna name this motor vlog, I finally fixed my audio. That's what I'm calling it. I finally fixed it. After five years of fiddling and, and messing with it, I decided to go ahead and make a proper rig, a proper YouTube rig for motor vlogging. I know, it took me forever to, you know, try to get to this part, this, this, this point in the whole YouTube career thing. <laughs> It's not as easy as everybody be thinking. Like a lot of people feel like you set up a camera, plug in a purple mic, a purple pen and microphone, and boom, it's that's it. And I want to tell you that I I tried to do that same exact thing, and I had so much issues. I, I took some pointers from a couple videos, um, and uh, yeah, so. So like uh, some of the helpful tips I had got from other videos kind of helped seamlessly a little bit, not so much. Uh, like I, I got a tip from Dude Mungus who said uh, put freaking electrical tape around it, around the connector points because over time they weaken. So what I did was I had a, a few new purple phantom microphones and I went ahead and built a new one totally new from what I had already and then yeah because you know believe it or not audio is this the number one most important thing other than the, the footage footage is easy honestly at this point all you got to do is buy a GoPro any version learn how to uh, change the settings on there plenty of YouTube videos on how to change the settings uh. Let me tell you something. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty. I'm extreme. I might not sound happy, but I'm pretty happy, man. Cause you know this this audio problem has been. I don't want to say perplexing me, but it's been there for a while. Whoa! They go one of those uh, those things. Uh, little hover things. It's not hovercraft, but it hovers <laughs> in the air. It's very cool, man. I seen this one video. Of this guy on YouTube who, who does that. He just uses it to go to random places, like he flew to McDonald's. It's crazy. Everybody's like freaking out. I'm like, yeah, he kind of came from the sky. I'm sure there's a YouTuber who has parachuted down. Alright, so, other than, you know, the freaking, uh, me fixing it, finally fixing audio issue, uh, right now I'm going to get the chain tightening, tighten up at, uh, this motorcycle dealership, Kawi, Kawasaki, Kawasaki, feel the nappy. Uh, honestly, the place is called Carter Power Sports. I didn't really, uh, I normally look up reviews, but I didn't. I mean, when I go in there, I'm just going in there for one thing. You know, the thing about service, right, is nowadays it's, it comes back. It Like, service is really pushed back. And um, I got my uh, Deadpool shirt on. <laughs> service is really pushed back. Like, people don't care about customer service too much because 
it's two kinds of workers the ones that want to be there and the ones that don't and then when the ones that want to be there gets fed up with people just showing up you got these crazy customers that show up and start raging over almost anything and you know kind of dilutes the customer service thing no one wants to work in customer service so when you come off at them polite you're just like hey uh how much is this or do you guys do this sometimes you don't even have a person there that you can talk to to ask those type of questions then when you call they don't pick up the phone so I'm not saying that's carter power sports but pretty much that's what i expect from every place that deals with the public is is rude service it's very rare that i get you know at least decent decent customer service but it's okay with motorcycles you don't you, there's nothing you can do you could be like yo i'm gonna go to someone else and then they end up rude and i do have a a guy who works on motorcycles his, his name is jeff um i got a sticker on my bike i forgot what his uh what his business is called but he was it's pretty chill once you get to know him <laughs> when i first met him I, it was an interesting situation I needed to get the, uh, what was that? I needed to get the FZ tire changed. And um, every place I called kept giving me like the weird run around. In Vegas, it just seems like everybody does not want to do work. They just want to get paid. They don't want to do work. Skip straight to the payment. And it's like, it's very weird, bro. But yeah, everybody that called around, he's the only guy who actually was like, yeah, bring your bike in and I'll do it. And then I walked in and I'm like, hey, uh, I just called about 15 minutes ago. I'm looking for a guy named Jeff. And he's like, okay, I'm Jeff. And I was like, oh, you know, I'm kind of like, dang, bro, I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know you, bro. I'm not even from here. I try my best to stay positive in those type of interactions, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't see no reason to walk around rude, you know? I would have never got my bike changed if I came back like, what? You know what I'm saying? Do the same thing with any interaction on social media. I just be like, yeah, you got it, bro. I've dealt with, so I've dealt with like online, like pestering. You know, people say it, saying and throwing jabs all the time, all, all the time. You know, when you're not as big as other uh, motor vloggers or stuff like that, you know, they, they always come for your throat. Every people that don't even do anything, like they don't do any social media, they don't make content, all they do is repost pictures and that's it. They don't, it's nothing. The, like the repost picture and the content that they put on their page, it's somebody else. It's not even them. So it'd be like, what are you, what? But yeah. So the FZ, not FZ, but the ZX6R has been getting a lot of work on, you know, trying to build it up. Hey, what's up, man? All right. That's the first. Harley said hello back. That is a first. That's a first for today. Honestly. I just woke up not too long ago, so... Went to my favorite neighborhood. I cut through that bad boy yesterday, and man, they school had started over there. I wish I would have known. I would have went in a different way. But since the pandemic is kind of wrapping up, it kind of got crazy. <sighs> Estate sale, nine to five. But anyway, like like I was saying, the ZX6R has been getting a lot of work, only because. Uh, my wife don't really ride this thing a lot and when she do ride it it's, she basically just like all right let's go
here at Carter Power Sports. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I, tell, I talked to the guy yesterday and he was like, first come, first serve. So, first come, first serve. The place opens at 9 and I'm actually here at 8. So, hopefully that means I get in first. Never know. Alright. See y'all after this junk. <laughs> all right so I didn't want to really ask for permission to uh, film inside the dealership they really didn't have much in there so it's not like it's missing content or anything like that but I noticed that the ZX6Rs even the newer the newer models the oil filter is like inside the bike like that is their thing so <laughs> Look, look, I, look, you gotta, I gotta put the mask on so you know. Um, but the, the oil filter is still inside the bike. I thought they would change the design if they made a newer looking one. Nope, it's almost the same thing. It, it's like when motorcycle brands make new models of their bike, I feel like they should add more than just changing the colors. Like, I mean, I understand the ABS thing, you know what I'm saying? Like newer models got ABS and versus the older models have ABS, but when the bikes legitly have the same everything, including ABS, because some of the older model bikes have ABS. What's the point of buying a newer model? Like, what's the, like, what's the difference? Because my, my wife's bike is a 2009. What's the difference between a 2009 and a 2021 right now? If it's like subtle differences, it's like pointless for you to even you even switch up yeah the 2009 has the dented gas tank but like other than that that's that's nothing you know what i'm saying you get you paying like what eighteen thousand for a bike you could probably get for let's see realistically four grand maybe five I get that on that? Oh, lucky. Oh, yeah, that, that seems super stressful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, there's a dirt bike, man. Just got his bike 
worked on fix that thing looking nasty I don't, I don't know anything about dirt bikes so 125 that's what's going on that one's even taller dude that's crazy oh so the person over there they got two bikes i'm guessing that's crazy <sighs> like dirt bike people they got this this ramp thing they got it down pat bro like oh man look and then i don't i don't know if i can zoom in on that but you got the red little uh freaking tire tire valves to match the bike that's cold that's pretty clean it's tall too it's a tall bike And then normally dirt bikes don't really have kickstands like that. So that's pretty cool. Well, alright guys. I cut it back on. After they get done, I'll bring the bike back out. Hopefully the ZX6R end up being like extra like like snappy. It's gonna be enthusiastic because the chain wasn't stupid loose, but it was like Boom, it didn't really have no bounce to it. But I felt like it was time. All right. Okay, well, back in. Okay, I know I said I was gonna end the video there, but jeez. Well, I got her chain tighten up, man. Man, it feel real good. even feel like the same bike jesus it's crazy how just that simple you know maintenance thing just changed the whole dynamic of this bike <sighs> oh Oh my god, dude, you gotta be kidding me. What? 